What is up everyone, my name is Anthony and in this video we are going to set up our own private Ethereum blockchain, boot up our own frontend with Next.js and Tailwind, interact with our blockchain by retrieving the balance and we're going to do this as fast as possible. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is install Next.js. I'm going to say yarn, create next app, give it some time to think. We need to give a name, we're going to say fast as F. After that, we are going to up our code editor. In my case, it's VS Code. Give it some time. We're going to say code inside of... Oh, we're going to go into the fast F folder. Boom. Then we're going to say code. Give it some time to boot up. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is test if it's working. We're going to say yarn. Def. Cool, let's open up our explorer real quick. Let's go to localhost 3000, press enter, and it's all working fine. That's good. The next thing we are going to do is install Tailwind. Why? Because we want to have a little bit of a clean UI. So we're going to say install Tailwind Next.js. Yes. We're going to click the first link we see. We're going to copy exactly what they are telling us to do. Open up this thing, quit it, paste it in. It's installing Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and the auto prefix, which is needed for compiling the shenanigans. The next thing we're going to do is initializing Tailwind so it can put up a configuration file inside our folder that's being done. The next thing we do is go to global, and we're going to delete everything inside of here. We're going to back to the website, copy everything these guys are telling us, because that's what we do as engineers. We copy everything what, we, what they told us. This whole module, we can completely delete this. Delete permanently, get them out of here. All right, the next thing we need to do is go to our Tailwind config and we need to put some content inside of this. So again, it's nicely highlighted, copy, paste it and delete the old one. Cool, that's already been done. Let's open up the index page. We don't need the shenanigans. The only thing we need is what we want. So let's first test this, let's see if next if Tailwind is working, so we say class name. Uh, maybe we could do something like text, Excel, uh, and do this. Yarn def. Boom, just like that. Let's go to our next app. And that's all working, fine. So what we're gonna do is do a little bit of front-end engineering to make it nice and clean. I'm gonna say const navigation component functional is going to be I'm going to return a diff. This diff is going to have a wrapper. I'm going to say, give it some padding. Padding on the Y, 10. That should be good. We're going to put it inside a container. Container. Uh, MX Auto, if I'm correct like this, and then we're going to split it up again in two phases. This is going to be our brand, our brand name, whatever it can be. And e this side, in this diff, we are going to have some links. So we could say link one and link two. This needs to be a flex box, a flex thing. Um, what's going on? Flex space X 10. This is brand. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. That's going to be text XL. Why not? Yes, that should be maybe 2 XL. Why not? This needs to be a flex again. Um, flex space between. That should work. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna return a diff wrapper. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna say class name. Uh, class name, what the hell is going on? Container and Mixoto. That's for the content. In this case, is our navigation, just like that. One more thing I wanna do 
is give this some margin on the bottom let's say 20 okay let's see what's going on in here okay something is not quite right so we have this container mxoto all perfectly fine that's not fine it is fine my excuse is flex space between it's going to be justify justify space between let's see what's going on it's not working what the hell is going on it's not justify it's justify between sometimes <laughs> things are not going like you want it to be so we have this brand like here this nice navigation under this navigation we're going to create a button because we are going to use that button and if we click on it it's going to fetch the balance of an address on our own private ethereum exchange that's the plan we're going to say const button again this functional component uh, like this we're going to return a diff not a diff we're going to return a button rather button we're going to call this balance get balance yes we're going to style this button real quick class name is going to be we're going to give it a padding of four bg blue indigo rather 500 maybe and we're going to say rounded xl just like that and we're going to put this button inside of this content placeholder button <coughs> excuse me and see what's going on get balance that's nice the next thing we're going to do i want to have this button white text so we can say text white perfectly fine and maybe we can say font bold easy you don't need to learn css because it's all being done for you cool what we also need to do is give it an on click prop so we're going to say the on click of this button is going to be the on click we give it just like that we're going to make a function we're going to call this get balance it's going to be an async function rather just like this what's going on and if we click this that's what we're going to call if we click it so we're going to say alert hello so what we could do is say on click get balance just like that let's test this real quick it's working hello cool the next thing we need to do is install ethers what is ethers ethers is a um, package ethers which we're going to need for interacting with our own private blockchain so npm install ethers but we're going to use yarn so we can say yarn add ethers <clears throat> just like that give it some time cool let's yarn dev this back up we're going to import ethers from ethers just like that first of all what we need is a provider const provider that's going to be a new ethers provider a json provider i guess json provider yes now we're going to say the balance is going to be a weight because it returns a promise a weight provider get balance and we're going to give it an address right and then we're going to say print out the balance just like that so the next thing we need to do is install ganache how do we do that it's very simple you just type in yarn global at ganache nice the next thing we do is ganache enter it boots up a private ethereum blockchain with some addresses already filled with some tokens so we're going to copy the first address we're going to back to our code and put that balance put that address rather inside of this balance and if all goes well it will now interact with our own blockchain so we could go back to our local host get balance we have an, a little issue right here what is going on what is popping 
and it's working. We have this balance from our own private Ethereum blockchain. My name is Anthony and if you like this video, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and put some questions in the comments. And I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams. Cheers.